What what does a guy get from a, a woman that he couldn't get from a cook, a cleaner, and a hooker? It goes back to like why it's better to date girls with lower body counts because they're more loyal. Yeah, but that's I don't I don't know about all of that. Mm. So if a girl's if a girl's if a girl's a virgin if a girl's a virgin on her wedding night, she has an eighty percent chance of a happy marriage. If she sleeps with more than five people, it drops down to thirty percent. Mm. But that and doesn't so, mean the man's gonna stay though. How many men? Women have... women leave most of the time. It's seventy to eighty yeah, percent of the true. time. If you're, cheat. if you're if you're college educated, it's ninety, and they cheat at similar rates. And there's actually studies that have come out recently saying that women cheat more than men. Because think mm. about it, we have way more opportunity. We walk down the street, say hello to a man, he's down. I'm saying like as, as adults in a conversation, like yes, there are mm. going to be exceptions, but if you have an eighty percent chance, isn't that better than a thirty percent chance? Mm. And if you were a dude, you pick the you pick the the eighty percent chance. And second off, the other problem is like. A lot of times what girls will do is they'll mm. they'll give it to the last guys for free and then try to like they're used Honda Civic and trying to require BMW prices, but you Yay! can't go back to being a new BMW. No, I do what what Go ahead, Akeem. You first. Hey, hey, let, me, let, me, let me stop it up. Well, first of all, shut up with just curly things. Her content is jumping. Jumping, jumping, jumping. So make sure you like and subscribe her. She's, hey, she's just speaking. early thing. This is yeah. the new smoking gun. Hey, man, I'm going to say it's this. This new generation of women, they're different, yo. It's like they think more with their feelings. I feel this. I don't know. I don't feel that. I don't feel this. But they don't use this. That To me, it's like they are intelligent. But the common sense is gone. It's like common sense is not so common. And when when and when she says stuff like that, this is just common stuff. This is common sense. This is our nature. This is natural. And women cannot risk like they can't really it's like it goes one and it goes out the other way. It's like, no, no, I don't feel this way. Because I see this and I see that. And I feel like us women we're above all of that type of stuff. It don't matter. Nature is nature. We like what we like. Women like what they like. And as simple as that. And I, I and we try to like I say we try to tell some of these women and other people try to tell these women, hey, this how it goes. If you win or you out. Like and that, and that's it. And they still can't understand or process it. And that's and my thing is it's like, yo, if you want the truth, and women want to be told the truth, and we tell the truth, they're like, oh no, no, I like, uh, yes. It's been proven. It's nature, and there's uh, we have stats to back it up. And then when, they, and then when we put out stats and give them facts, it's like oh, and they, and they still don't believe it. So these 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 these, these new modern women that's out there, like it's scary, yo. They feel like they know everything, and it's and they're not open anymore. It's like yo, this this is what it is. It's not gonna change. That's my take. See, the thing is, her. I never heard of her. I know. Um, shout out to the uh, the person in the comment who actually told us to to react to this video. And and guys, also, you can send us an email or you can leave comments and links. Like, hey, if you want us to react to, we don't mind because we we love you guys' participation when it comes to, especially when it comes to subjects like this. Because this is what we love. This is what I think we talk about this mostly all the time. Now, mm -hmm. the aspect on her. She spoke facts, which is true, the facts and the statistics. But when she was talking about the body count situation, this is the only thing I got to agree with her because most of the time women lie anyway. Most men won't even know if a woman is a virgin or not. Even if you know if it's your wedding night because she's like, oh, tens of all, a woman that's a virgin stay with a man longer than a person that's not a virgin. But how do you think, number one, how will you know she's a virgin or not? Even because, mind you, just going by her words, but her action might say something totally different because you really don't know. You really don't know, because right now, I can tell you right now, I'm a virgin. They're like, Ron, you're not a virgin. But how will you know that? You don't know me on a personal level. You just don't know me. Only I know me. So that's the only thing I debate people when it comes to the aspect of the body count situation. But now, at the end of the day, she's right on the aspect of uh, women do cheat on a higher level. I think we spoke about that all the time. Women do cheat on a higher level because, remember, women think emotionally. They don't cheat with physically. They think they cheat with their emotion. Free game there. So if you ever want to, if a woman cheat automatically with her emotion, the guy already got her. You pretty much lost. You pretty much lost the battle. So she was head on or certain situation. But this body count situation, they didn't throw that shit in the, in the garbage. Because like I said, and I, I'm going to stand on it, you will never know. That's my take on it. 
Now, I want to come from a perspective who I follow the red pill, and I kind of agree with her what she said. There was a part of the video that wasn't shown, because I did go back and watch the full clip where she did say a woman who sleeps with five or more people has less chance to pair bond with somebody. Pair bonding is really situation. This is what they're talking about, sowing seeds. Or what's they what's in the biblical terms? Um, um, soul ties. But yeah. but how can how would you know that? That means that you don't know. Listen, listen. You, we won't we won't know that until she pick up and go. Because here's the funny thing about it is most women will stay with a man even through the worst situations. But there's certain things women will not compromise on. If a woman had got if a woman was beat down by a donkey D. We talking about a full blown donkey, D. and that's all she know is dealing with big hung men. If you come in here with your five six inches, she's gonna she's not gonna be able to do that. But let's say that you are her only thing that she's ever touched, she'll think that's the best thing she had in the world. This is why since the dawn of time, society has frowned over sexual promiscuity for women. You're supposed to get married off and have one sexual partner. This thing about being sexual liberated does not work for y'all. It's hard for y'all to keep men. Because here's the thing. You leave one man, go to another man, go to another man, go to another man. So what she said is point blank period. She's a person who I know practically fact that she grew up in a household. She has like 10 brothers and sisters. Her dad is a millionaire. And, 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 and mind you, th this is... This is kind of one of the main reasons when we get certain girlfriends, you're trying to wonder why they're not staying longer. She's not actually being honest with you. Hey, um, and Roni, it was you that said this a couple months, mm -hmm. a, a couple seasons ago. A lot of women just care about sex. Yep. No, but I, I, I've been saying, why do you think yeah. one of the aspects a lot of women care about sex? Because most women are having sex. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a big thing as we making it big. You get what I'm saying? Because sex is just a natural thing. And I think when people get the aspect and get the sex out of the way, then you can finally get to know the person. Now, I think, you know, there's a whole other topic there, but I'm not going to go because I know people actually listen to us, so I'm trying to be very careful because, you know, some people do wait for marriage. But this is why I think people should have a sexual experience already because it takes away from you like, oh, let me meet this person. Let's say you meet a person and she's a virgin and she never had a sexual experience. Now she's gonna have that desire to have more experiences. So she's gonna do research like, oh, I did my threesome. Or I had a guy, he banged me in a, in a, in a public parking lot. I never had that experience. Now I wanna have those experience. And mind you, let's say you have a husband that don't do those things. She's gonna find a man that can do those things. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I say, I think a woman should have those sexual experiences they want or they read or they, whatever they desire. But that's a whole nother topic. Go ahead, I'll let you finish your point. That's a whole nother topic. Um, um, really, really, it just said that another point that I want to give to Sia Ladil, this just goes that to shows that in that clip shows that really just don't really women don't understand men. They really don't know what men want. You feel me? And the thing is about Hakeem, we, we try to tell them it goes out one ear, goes out the other ear. If that's the case, date a woman. If if like if, if you're not finding what you're looking for, date a woman. And the reason I'm saying this is because go by the, the uh, supply and demand. It's more women out there than it is than it is us. So if you can't comply with these, if you're not comply with the demands of that we want, get your woman. Yeah. Get your woman. Ooh. It's it's plenty of us, it's plenty of it's plenty for, for, for us, it's plenty for y'all. That's all I'm gonna say. That's my last final point. <laughs> Boy, she's throwing up things in the UK. This is why you got to like, share, and subscribe. Come on, you. We react to a lot of things. So this is why you got to hit that new forget bell on the right-hand side. Because you never know when we may go live. Now, we do go live each and every Sunday, 7.30 Eastern time. And we love the fact that you guys are leaving comments. And you see we reacting to it. If y'all have more, leave a comment. And let us know what you think. Do you agree with her? Do you disagree with her? That's what we like about this space. Because we all we all cannot agree. Thank you for tuning in, KR Culture Radio. We over and out. Peace. Peace.